The secret of the universe is communication. Everything communicates. Everything communicates constantly. Everything communicates by way of electromagnetic waves. Wait, wait, I'm still, wait. I have to just be silent for a minute here. So you're saying as you dig deeper, you find computer code writ in the fabric of the cosmos. Computer code. Computer code, strings of bits of ones and zeros. It's not just sort of resembles computer code, you're saying it is computer code. It's not even just is computer code, it's a special kind of computer code that was invented by a scientist named Claude Shannon in the 1940s. Hello, I'm Claude Shannon, a mathematician here at the Bell Telephone Laboratories. Recently, the Cal Geyer of the YouTube channel, Crypto Viewing, published a video entitled, The Plan? New Depends for Bitcoin Ban. What they have in store for us is just absolutely uh, fantastic and not really in a good way. But let me get right to the point. Yes, Ripple was designed by the bankers. The whole blockchain thing, it's, it's not just something we're making up. This is being rolled out with a plan, with a purpose, with an agenda, and we don't get a vote in it. Let's say there's a great big Airbus A380. Here's what you can do. You can decide where you're going to sit on the plane, and that's, this is where cryptos come in. If this system's coming in, if we buy cryptos, we will have a seat in the first class section. It will be a very nice seat, okay? You have that choice. Dick references his sources and conversations over the last two years on the elite's plan for a digital blockchain of future. In the video, Dick addresses online crypto commentator Bitcoin Ben, and a recent video in which Ben shares a conversation he just had with one of his sources, a well-connected crypto industry insider. In the conversation, the insider outlines four coins besides Bitcoin, which will serve as foundational coins of the future of digital fintech. There's four coins that you should own. You should own Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, and Ripple. Yeah, you seemed really, you seem really bummed. <laughs> Yeah, uh, as you guys know, I don't like Ripple. I don't like Ripple because who's involved in Ripple? Yes, and I refuse to buy Ripple also. I will not be buying Ripple. Speaking of cryptocurrency, I went to buy some Ripple this week. Yes, I buy Ripple. Guilty as charged. It's the bankers going, oh, we don't like Ripple. I, I do buy Ripple because I think it's going to make me some money. So we clearly see a dilemma. Dick recommends by example, participation to make some money, while Bitcoin Ben refuses to vote with his assets for a choice he finds corrupted, instead focusing on choices which reflect his integrity. First of all, Let's be clear. We love Dick Algeyer. He is insightful, funny and a universally aware being. That said we feel like we must address the spirit expressed by Dick, and others relating to our actions in consensus reality. Essentially, Dick is saying, blank means is going to be rolled out. Why not make some money, and upgrade your seat to first class? But what if we substitute Ripple for some other variable? Does Ripple still seem so attractive? How can we equate Ripple to Monsanto or slavery? We can do so because we have taken the time to understand the attributes of Ripple, Stellar and the mentalities which have brought them forth into this holographic experience we share. Too harsh? Consider the following is a Forbes online article from January this year. The article points out that at the time of print, the current and former CEOs of Ripple, Brad Garlin House, 
and Chris Larson, respectively, quote, now easily rank among the wealthiest Americans with Larson ranking at the time 15th, on Forbes' 400 Richest Americans list, with an estimated $37.3 billion in dollar terms. The article goes on to mention the originator of XRP, and current founder of Ripple's competitor Stellar. As a third person who has gotten rich on XRP with over $1 billion worth at the time of print, I am referring to Jed McCaleb. So just how did these guys get so rich? Simple, they gave themselves, and other insiders a ton of coins, which no one else can mine. In fact, the founders of Ripple retain 20% of all XRP for themselves. One out of every five coins is held by insiders. You cannot mine XRP, you cannot mine Stellar Lumens. In this way they are centralized behind a private curtain. Let's examine the creator of XRP and Stellar. So, how safe is your crypto? Let's bring in the creator of Mt. Gox and co-founder of Stellar, Jed McCaleb. Jed, great to have you with us. Yeah, hi, great to be here. Who is Jed McCaleb? According to Wikipedia, Jed McCaleb is the creator of eDonkey2000 a Napster P2P file-sharing clone, which ended with copyright claims, and Mt. Gox, which he founded in 2010, and ended with a $450 million security breach. Um, you obviously know a thing or two about how secure exchanges might be, so what's your advice for, for people out there? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, I, I was only involved in the exchange space for a very brief period of time. I've, I've been more focused on building, actually, these platforms. To be fair, at the time McCaleb was no longer an active part of Mt. Gox, having sold the majority of the shares, but was still a minority shareholder. So Jed McCaleb has brought us Mt. Gox, Ripple and Stellar since 2010. While at first glance McCaleb's projects appear to be decentralized blockchain cryptocurrencies, in fact, they are centralized, censurable distributed databases in blockchain clothing. Clothing which was found lacking according to David Maziers, chief scientist and head of Stanford University's Secure Computing Group. Professor Maziers declared the underlying system of Stellar and Ripple is designed by McCaleb, unlikely to be safe when operating with more than one validating node. Let's repeat that. Unlikely to be safe when operating with more than one validating node. By definition, a network is a collection of nodes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, like, technically, the, the consensus algorithm of Ripple lends itself to, to it's very hard to run uh, nodes outside, uh, like, Ripple Labs. Like, so they're, they're running the majority of the nodes, uh, which uh, it should be concerning for people, right? Because it's it basically you're ended up with a system that's no better than than uh, Swift or PayPal, one of these centralized systems. Professor Maziers eventually took a position at Stellar to design a new protocol. As far as we are aware, Ripple's consensus protocol remains largely unchanged from McCaleb's unsafe design. Bitcoin developer Peter Todd noted. Ripple's technical documentation doesn't make any of these risks clear, nowhere do they describe in detail how nodes can fall out of consensus with one another if their unique node list don't match. Still want that seat upgrade? Perhaps you're thinking, well it looks like Stellar with its new consensus protocol will become the king of the banker coins, and thus make you a lot of money. Well consider this. Stellar has a built-in inflation rate of 1% per year, with the controlling nodes deciding who reaps the rewards each year. That inflation sounds like the Federal Reserve note. As for insiders controlling the coins, Stellar takes the grand prize with 18 billion coins on the market today, and an astonishing 85 billion held by the foundation. There are 104 billion inches total supply which means the insiders control, are you ready for it? About 82% of the coins, with 1 billion held by McCaleb alone. Now that's a tough pill to swallow. No wonder the Forbes Future 400 list is blossoming with the names of these banker coin insiders. Why is the house so important, when it comes to how we make our money? The secret of the universe is communication. 
everything communicates. Everything communicates constantly. Everything communicates by way of electromagnetic waves. This experience called life is holographic and informational. On this point Dick Algeyer and Dr. Raphael Bauso, author of the groundbreaking 2003 paper Holographic Principle agree. But in physics it has a special meaning information. What is that? In physics information is important in quantum mechanics. It helps us understand the weirdnesses of these theories uh, that are based on quantum mechanics. It helps us understand quantum computing. Information appears to be important in general relativity, in our theory of gravity, and in particular in how, how to understand how to connect it to quantum mechanics, which is our great task. We understand that there appears to be a deep connection between information and the shape of space-time. Dr. Raphael Bauso's paper shed new insights on black hole physics and the very nature of our holographic reality. A reality consisting of a consensus protocol, proof-of-work algorithms, and time stamping. A reality in which, what you put in is what you get out. A reality of as above so below. And if you remember one thing from this video, remember this. Your vote matters. Literally it generates the matter of our consensus experience. If you put a lot of energy into space, well that energy is mass and it gravitates. So if we choose to vote for an experience where the ripples and stellars of the world win, then we deserve to repeat the failed lessons of the past. The truth is, none of us incarnated into this experience to be comfortable. As matter of fact, material existence is never always comfortable, no matter what seat we place or s. There is always a moment where we must kiss that lovely ass goodbye. The truth is, we eventually say goodbye to all that we love in this holographic realm. So, why compromise our principles when, false comfort is no comfort at all. John Kim recently spoke the following at the Litecoin Summit. I'm human, and I follow a passionate, uh, driven person with great integrity. They didn't expect us to pay attention, and too many people got on board too early, and it got out of their hands, and there's too much uh, proliferation of cryptos, and they never expected that. They wanted their uh, Ripple kind of a, a clone, and, and its clones to be the, um, the basically the crypto that, that they're going to hand out to us, and off they go in the same power structure without the limitations of the dollar and the Federal Reserve. Don't take it at, as, as, you know, this is the way it's going to be. Nobody knows how it's going to be. Um, but we do know that the old system is dying and we need something in its place. We must agree with John Kim, Cliff High, Bix Weir, Bitcoin Ben and others. We must err on the side of integrity. We must vote for a system of liberty and shun one of elite control. As for my inside sources, they are universal physics. So what is your vote? If Bitcoin Ben's source is right, let's enjoy what we earn by bravely holding Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Ethereum Classic. And pluck Ripple. I am Michelle, your cryptic bell. If you'd like to see more commentaries, please consider contributing some to my Patreon, or Litecoin wallet. Links are in the description.